Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I thought I'd show how I make and break the number 15 miniature roller chain that I use throughout the build on my prosthetic hand. The easiest way that I've found to make and break the roller chain is I do it in the milling machine. I use a 3 inch grind vise with a vertical V groove, two drill chucks, kind of on the small side, this one goes up to 3 eighths of an inch. You also need to machine a punch. For this, I took a piece of 3 16 drill rod, machined one end of it to an eighth of an inch, the other end of it to 0 .058, which is four thousandths smaller than the rivet pin of the number 15 chain. That gives you two thousandths either side. So the way I set this up is I mount one of the drill chucks in the quill, and the other one in the vertical V groove of the grind vise. Next, I simply chuck up the piece of tooling that I'll be using to press the rivet. Your setup should look pretty close to this. Next thing you want to do, you want to check for concentricity. You want to set everything up to where the top and bottom chucks are concentric and that the 60 thousandths pin will pass through the center of the three jaws. Next thing I do is set the minimum height for the Z. I do that by putting a razor blade on top of the lower drill chuck and zeroing the DRO. By doing that, it should help you from pushing the rivet through the bottom of the side plate. Next thing you need to do is figure out where you want to break the chain and line up that rivet in the bottom drill chuck. From there, line everything up with your punch, then gently start pushing the rivet through the link. Once you get the initial break, you want to look over at your DRO and just get it to where it's five or ten thousandths proud of your zero number. That should give you a link that looks like this, and that should leave just enough of the pin sticking through the bottom plate that you'll be able to use it to line up whatever you're, whatever you're making up into the chain. In this case, this is the center link to the lock link assembly. Once you have everything assembled, now just put it on top of the bottom chuck, line everything up, and gently reassemble. For best results, you want to have the same length of rivet exposed on either side. That'll make sure that it won't separate under load. And there you have it. That's how I make and break number 15 miniature roller chain. I've used this technique to break chains anywhere from number 15 miniature to number 60 industrial. I hope this video demonstration helps you out in understanding how easy it is to break roller chain. Maybe try this technique instead of reaching for a master length next time. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's go get some treats. Let's go get some treats. Come on.